90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After Season 7 Cast, Trailer, Premiere Date Revealed Hey guys, my name is Pole, nice to see you on my YouTube channel. As the couples on this season of 90 Day Fiancé approach their wedding deadlines, a new season is on its way. Season 7 of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After Will soon be upon us all. We know the couples, which include fan favorites and some of the franchise's worst villains. Now, we know the premiere date. We also have a wild, dramatic trailer. Angela Deem and Michael Illisani have one of the most toxic marriages in franchise history. They were only able to be together in person after their Nigerian wedding for a matter of days. Just after their nuptials, now former President Donald Trump added Nigeria to his infamous ban list. Angela returned home and has not been able to see Michael in person since then. The notoriously poorly behaved grandmother has kept herself busy with a series of cosmetic procedures. Now, however, she has found a new hobby, a different man. Angela is flirting with a Canadian man and even considering visiting him in person. However, the deadline for Michael's visa approval is approaching, so she may spend season 7 patching things up with him. Either way, Michael does not appear in the trailer, leaving some fans wondering if he'll appear on the season. He will, Elizabeth Pothist and Andre Castrovet are very familiar to viewers. And so is her family. This season, we will see Libby weigh the merits of a career shift to music, which is a passion of hers. She has appeared in a film in the past, so this shouldn't be a stretch. Plus, Andre is settling into work. But there are, continuing, concerns that Andre is isolating Elizabeth from her family. Meanwhile, he is called in for an unexpected green card interview that has the couple concerned. Is someone trying to sabotage him by writing in false accusations? Who, aside from Libby's brother, would do that? Jovi Dufrin and Yara Zaya are a fan-favorite couple, even if fans love Jovi's mom, Gwen, even more. This season, we will see Yara struggling with homesickness for her native Ukraine. Apparently, the couple was already filming when mad despot Vladimir Putin launched his genocidal invasion of the country. Jovi and Yara resolved to visit her mother in Prague, but they still have issues to work out. For one thing, Yara wonders if they'll be able to bring any of her family to the US. They are, after all, refugees fleeing war. At the same time, Yara and Jovi are going to deal with more superficial problems, the trailer shows. Jovi doesn't like some of Yara's friends, who, in turn, say truthful but impolite things about him. So this season won't be all about doom and gloom, but we will see some of the fallout from that brutal war. Oh no, it's Big Ed Brown and Liz Woods. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. Liz is the third woman with whom Ed has appeared on this franchise. Unfortunately, they keep getting back together. In addition to being a creep and a jerk, at least two women have accused Ed of sexual assault, but TLC seemingly does not care, apparently, this season will show Ed's family and friends being slow to warm up to Liz. Why? Maybe because they've broken up a dozen times or so, at least eight of them viaduct text message, him dumping her. How do you welcome someone with open arms when their vile fiancé might ditch them again at any moment? Ed and Liz also go through the motions of planning their wedding and shopping for a home. Yes, they're both Americans and they're not married, leaving many to wonder what they're actually doing on this spin-off, in the trailer, Ed, who outed a previous fiancé as bi, because that's just who he is, accuses Liz of being a lesbian. Classy guy. Jenny Slatten and Sumit Singh are three-year veterans of 90 Day Fiancé, the other way. After finally marrying, but not telling his controlling and toxic parents, they still have a lot of issues to work out. Also, living in India is taking its toll. Jenny loves Sumit, but she's homesick. Sumit has to work on repairing his relationship with his family. Meanwhile, Jenny and Sumit are struggling with the age gap in their marriage. 
They have different ideas of what married life should be like, leading to a heated confrontation in the trailer. Yikes! Kim Menzies and Usman Sojaboy Kumar are back, and are yet another couple who aren't married. We don't know if TLC just couldn't wait for another before the 90 days to show them again. Or if the prospect of putting these two on the same season as Angela was just too much to pass up. Neither Kim nor Usman's families are supporting their relationship. Kim's thirst trap of a son, Jamal, worries that she is rushing into things with a very suspicious man. Meanwhile, Usman's mom worries that he's marrying, yet another, older woman who cannot give him children. But maybe childbearing will be for Usman's second wife. Kim is clearly of two minds about this. In the trailer, it's enough for her to splash Usman with a milkshake and storm off. You'd think he'd be used to this by now. The trailer for season 7 looks like a mess, but that's business as usual. Once again, the couples are basically a checklist of how not to treat your partner, a lot of them, at least. Will we ever see Michael? Will there be a surprise seventh couple announced before the premiere? 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After. Season 7 will premiere on Sunday, August 28th. As always, new episodes will air on TLC and on Discovery Plus on the same day. We will likely learn more about this upcoming season over the next month and a half.